Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Wow, that was that was weird like that. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about puff shrooms. Uh, it seems to be uh, still having some confusion on them. So I'm just gonna uh, quickly start off by doing this puff shroom right over here because I actually need to do them for my quest and you will probably too. And uh, yeah, it's actually not as difficult as you think. Uh, every time, uh, you, you kind of have to watch your time a little bit, you know. So at 15 past and 45 past, or a quarter to, um, that's when puff shrooms are going to arrive uh, in your game. Now, you have to kind of look around a little bit. I kind of recommend using the uh, cannon to see where it actually spawns, but it always spawns. So 15 past and 45 minutes past, it's going to spawn. Now, I'm not really sure if there's a difference because you might have a different time zone than I do, because I'm at CET, you have to kind of look for yourself if that is going to include your time zone. Um, but for me, it is 15 past and 45 minutes past um, and yeah, that's basically when the puff shrooms uh, arrive. And as you can see, the more you're able to take down, the more they actually spread across the map. And now I actually am quite lucky because you can see how many puff shrooms are actually being spawned. It's quite insane. They actually have some good drops as well. I'm gonna go and talk about that uh, in a later time in this video probably because I have to pull up that information. I actually haven't got that prepared. Now look at this. Look at how many puff shrooms we have. Um, there's a, also a few tips that I wanna give you along the way on uh, how you can spawn them on specific fields and also on how to do some damage on them because some people think you actually have to be on the field only to do damage but that's uh, incorrect you actually have to be around the puff shroom it's the um well, not it's not not if the but you have to be around the puff room uh, puff room to actually do the damage. Now, sometimes you have a, a higher level puff room. You can see at level six, sometimes level ten, sometimes they're epic. Um, and what you have to do is, I would always put down sprinklers. And there's a little trick I can give you um, to spawn multiple sprinklers next to each other. You have to jump and then place it. Uh, if you don't jump, uh, it won't uh, put it down. It will tell you I uh, cannot place sprinklers this close to each other. So you have to jump and place down the sprinkler because um, you will lose a lot of stuff on the field and then you cannot do the damage anymore. So if you see something above level 6 or whatever, it depends on how much damage you actually do. Uh, just try to do some sprinklers and then you can see uh, you can do some damage on them like like so like how I'm doing right now I usually as of right now I can only lay down three sprinklers sometimes it doesn't uh, work as intended as you can see you have to you have to try it multiple times there you go it's kind of a little bit of a glitchy thing not entirely sure but yeah anyways that's what you should do and um, also if you need to get some specific puff rooms for your um, specific field that uh, you need. For example, if you need something in the blue field or for me like in the clover field, uh, what I recommend you doing obviously is, as you can see, I wouldn't continue working on this puff room. We're gonna go over here now and work on these puff rooms. Obviously, I don't have much time anymore left. Sometimes they actually give you a little bit more time but um, yeah, just always try to um, move towards the field where you actually need the puff room. Now, there are also some other ways on uh, spawning puff rooms. One of them is ticket planter uh, ticket planters actually give you um, an instant once you have a hundred percent the ticket planter let me quickly find it the ticket planter there we go um, it can give you uh, some uh, puff rooms on the field that you place it in I don't know if I have a ticket planter have I gotten a ticket planter set down no I haven't so I put it down onto the blue field now uh, it's gonna fill up to a hundred percent and you see like spores coming out of it and then it means that you're going to uh, spawn a puff shroom. Now I think it's also possible with the uh, normal planters but um, I'm gonna put down the information also what it kind of drops I'm gonna put down the information in the description box below I don't want to make this video for too long because this is not a complex topic I think Nectar uh, deserves a little bit more attention I'm uploading another Nectar video today maybe it's already out I have two videos I already have a Nectar tutorial out and people say it's one of the best ones on the internet right now so if you want to check it out make sure to check it out and uh, same thing with uh, with the puff rooms I'm gonna uh, put some information in the description box also gonna put some information in the comment section below you can comment down below it if you want to uh, have some other videos and tips and tricks on uh, Beast Swarm Simulator just make sure to ask me I usually reply to the comments that I'm getting unless it's getting too many and I don't read it anymore but as of right now everything is very uh, yeah well coordinatable <laughs> I don't know if that's a word but 
uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, planters, they will give you uh, also these planters. They will give you uh, the puff shrooms, and uh, it's just important if you, uh, for example, 15 past and 45 minutes past, uh, that you keep it on time watch. Just, just, just look around on the server. You will find the puff shrooms. You have two chances an hour, and once you find one, you will get there. Trust me, you will get there. You will be able to finish the quest. Alright, so this is basically it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next GAD tutorial. Goodbye.